All right, this is chapter four, video four. We're gonna carry on. We're gonna to talk today in this video about initializing the components. So whenever we start off a brand new program and we open it up, uh, a, a GUI um, I'm referring to, we come up with these three containers. We've got our namespace, we've got our, our class, which is our form. And then within inside the form, we have to set up the form. And then within the form, we have other specific um, methods that make that form work. So this is a very important um, bit of code here because what that does is it initializes the components of the form. It actually builds this form as it runs. And I can demonstrate that by simply putting what they refer to as a debug breakpoint right here, which I've talked about in previous videos. And then when I run the program, Right away, the program starts, it compiles, it goes through the first sequence, goes to the next, and then it, it executes this line right here, initialize the components. So if I want, I can select this option up here called, let's step into the debugger, and let's see where does it take us. So as soon as I push the F11 key, it opens up a new file here called the designer. So the designer file is what's used to create the form. And if you look at it at the beginning, it initializes the main components of the form. So it says here that the form has a group box. The group box is right here. It says you are a student. That's a group box control. And then it's got a student label up here. So it's, there's a label. There's a radio button. There's a yes button. Um, there's a, a, a label for, which I'm not sure where that is but I could go down and find that. There's a text box right here. There's another label control up there. There's a, another text box right here, a label right there. And what this is doing in the initialized component is it's building or initializing all of the control objects on the form. And this is done kind of behind the scenes by Visual Studio, and we don't see this during the compiling process. But once it's done putting the controls on, we have to go through and build its properties. So when we set the properties of a control, how does that actually get built onto the form? It gets built right here in the designer. So for example, the um, group box, we told it that we want to have, it's going to be called, it's a radio button, um, it's going to have a yes and no. It's going to add those two controls and a label control in there. It's also going to draw it out in a certain dimension. It's going to have an internal name called group box in there. It's going to be 347 pixels by 50 pixels. Index zero, it says, are you a student is the name of that particular control. So this is actually identifying and controlling all or assigning all of the properties of the controls. And it works its way down. And as I hold my finger down on the F11 key, you'll notice over here is the compiler does this in the background. So when I push the uh, play button and it compiles, this is actually taking all of this information that Visual Studio has put together for us and is building this form for us. And it's taking here a little bit of time here to work our way through. Lots of, lots of code here, as you can see. Here, I'll put on pause. And when it's completed that designer file, it opens up the form because all of the controls have been um, have been uh, added to the form. If there's something that wasn't properly entered into the designer form, it'll come up as a syntax error and it won't allow us to look at this designer form. So, for example, if I was to go into my code, now let me just close the designer down for a moment. Let's close down the program file for a moment and look at the um, the code here. If I was to let's say double click on the form, add a, add a method here. Okay, I'm gonna double click. Oh, I'm compiling right now, so that's not gonna work. So I double click and then I remove it as I've done in other videos. And then I go back here, it says, hey, you put on a, a, a load form and then you took it off. So we're back into that designer file and the designer file, are, you know, had a control object in here which is the form and we had an event handler in here called load and I I put it in but then I deleted it so it shows up as an error in the designer so I need to delete this and get rid of it otherwise we're gonna have a problem rendering the form so as soon as I take that out and I go back to my design it should there it goes it should look uh, fine it should go back to where where it was all right, so that's a little bit about how to the initialize function works with inside of your code. And that's this little block of code um, that we've looked at right here at the top, initialize. 